What's going on YouTube? Gias no right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about iOS 12.1, jailbreak and dual boot and also we're going to discuss some important news. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software PDF Element 6 which allows you to edit, create and convert PDF files on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below and don't forget to check out their advent calendar where you can win prizes until the Christmas. The link is available below. So we're going to start talking about this here. Now this has been posted two days ago but I didn't have time to cover it at that time. However, it's still active because the event didn't take place yet. So Max Bazaile is going to pretty much present an iOS dual booting demystified talk at a conference, which is apparently offensive con. Now, as you can see in the abstract, he says, quote, in this talk, I will cover iOS boot process in detail and demo a dual boot implementation on a modern iPhone hardware. I will show low level details of firmware modifications that require to boot second system Dual boot of jailbroken iOS 12.1 will be shown on a demo. So not only that this guy has apparently managed to dual boot iOS 12.1, which of course has been impossible and is impossible to this date because 12.1 pretty much means 64 bit device and we never had a 64 bit dual boot. So yeah, it's been possible to dual boot an iPhone, but of course only on 32 bit devices. So only iPhone 5 and 5c and older devices but no this dude pretty much managed to do it on a newer device running 12.1 and another important mention in there is a jailbroken ios 12.1 so not only he managed to pretty much dual boot it he also managed to jailbreak it and he has a private jailbreak for the ios 12.1 now i'm not entirely sure what he is going to release or whether he's going to release anything but he seems to be willing to answer some questions and to give more details about the implementation according to the abstract in here. So we might be lucky and we might get a working method of dual booting and possibly jailbreaking, we do not know, for iOS 12.1 and 64-bit devices in general. Now this is actually huge because as I said, dual booting was possible on iOS but only on 32-bit devices which are massively outdated at this point and they cannot run iOS 12 they are stuck with iOS 10 or lower. So this is definitely going to be a breakthrough. So yeah, I'm going to keep you updated with what Max is going to present in this iOS dual booting demystified talk. And of course, I'm going to keep you updated with whether he is releasing anything or not. But anyways, pretty great news. We're pretty much doing very good progress on dual booting and of course, jailbreaking on iOS 12.1. Speaking of which, the next piece of information I would like to share is this one posted by Pound to Own, the developer behind the uncovered jailbreak. He said, quote, it seems like Apple is still signing iOS 12.1 beta 2. Downgrade to it now if you're on a higher version. And he follows it up with this, quote, yeah, even if you are on the final release of iOS 12.1, the final release may have more security patches than the beta 2 release. So he pretty much says that if you're running iOS 12.1 or 12.1.1 or 12.1.2, you should definitely downgrade right now to 12.1 beta 2 while it's still signed. Now, normally the iOS 12.1 is no longer signed, as you can see in here, so you wouldn't be able to downgrade to it. However, the iOS 12.1 beta 2 is still signed for some bizarre reason, so you can still downgrade to it and save the blobs. Do it right now if you're running 12.1.1, 12.1.2 or 12.1 release. So yeah, definitely an important step to take to ensure that you're running a version that can be jailbroken. And as Pound says in here, the final release may have more security patches. And the beta 2, since it's very early, may not have all those patches in there. So yeah, if you can sacrifice some performance since it's beta 2nd, then definitely go back to beta 2. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty great news for the dual booting and also for jailbreaking. Apparently Max has achieved a perfectly functional iOS 12.1 jailbreak and a dual boot on 64 bit, which hasn't been seen before. So yeah, massive news and I'm definitely happy to see this. And of course this may help in the future since the more we know about the firmware and the deeper we can go into the uh, boot chain, the better it is. And apparently his talk will definitely cover the boot chain and what happens, how it works, and of course how he made it to dual boot. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.